So one of the questions I find a lot of people have difficulty with is uh, questions that are uh, appearingly very, very simple. Um, I think the reason that a lot of people have difficulties with these questions is actually that they're not reading the question carefully enough and uh, looking at what type of water the question is asking about. The moment we have a question asking about fresh water, for most physics questions, it is a slightly more difficult question involving a few more calculations. So these questions, what is the ambient or absolute or what is the gauge pressure in a, at a given depth in a given type of water, are some of the questions that cause the most amount of difficulty to the uh, IDC candidates and IE candidates uh, I've assisted. So, what I've drawn up here is the standard chart that you should be very familiar with, able to draw up almost in your sleep by now. And what are those pressures we've actually written down there for those different depths? Well, those pressures we've written down there are the ambient or absolute, it's almost the same thing, pressure at that given depth in salt water. So we can very easily find the ambient or absolute pressure in salt water. The gauge pressure is just one less than that. So the gauge pressure at the surface is zero atmospheres. You don't want your gauge showing anything. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five atmospheres, gauge pressure and 50 meters of salt water. To find the ambient or absolute pressure in fresh water, uh, I just did a previous video on that one. Uh, what we do is we take the ambient or absolute pressure in salt water, we subtract one, we divide by 1.03 and we add the one back in. Why are we subtracting that one and adding it back in? Well, the one represents the ambient pressure from the atmosphere uh, above us, and that doesn't change uh, whatever type of water we're in. So then the final step to find the gauge pressure in fresh water is to subtract one from the ambient pressure in fresh water. And that is how we find these different pressures in these different types of water. So just looking at one example question to round this off, what is the ambient and the gauge pressure in 33 meters of fresh water? Well, the first thing we need to do is pull up our chart of ambient uh, pressure in salt water. Uh, we draw our arrow in, it's 33 meters, so it's between 30 and 40 meters, which means it's between four and five atmospheres, it's four point something atmospheres, well 33 meters, 4.3 atmospheres. That's the ambient pressure in salt water. So now we need to subtract one, giving us 3.3 atmospheres, uh, and then we need to divide that 3.3 atmospheres by 1.03 uh, to deal with the fact that uh, fresh water weighs slightly less than salt water. And then we need to add the atmospheric pressure back in and we have our ambient pressure in fresh water. So that subtract one and then add one back in is all to do with the fact that the atmosphere's pressure doesn't change whether we're at the surface in fresh water or in salt water. So we've now got 4.2 atmospheres is the ambient pressure at 33 meters of fresh water. Once we've calculated that, to calculate the gauge pressure at 33 meters of fresh water is easy. We just subtract one from that to give us 3.2 atmospheres gauge pressure in fresh water. So always build it up from your chart that you're familiar with and it's easy.